everyone. I hope you're having an okay week and that you're moving forward in your business. I know this week I've been talking a lot with my clients about coronavirus and how it's currently impacting their business and how it's going to impact their business in the future. It's not been fun. The, the calls haven't been fun. It's really uncomfortable, but really it's a topic that we really need to confront so that we can make plans and put structures in place going forward. So right now the fact is things definitely aren't normal because of social distancing and mandatory closures. Really small businesses everywhere are feeling the squeeze. I've gotten more concerned messages this week than I probably have over a decade of working in this business. And the main question that people are asking me is how can I protect my business over the next few weeks and the next few months and into the future? So that answer really depends on the industry that you currently work in and if your business is online or offline. So if you're online, the good news is, is that your business doesn't need to change that much to adapt to this new normal. You'll have to make some major shifts in your marketing and your customer outreach because everyone is online right now. Seriously, everyone. I tried to record a video this morning. <laughs> it was like a minute long and it's still processing. And I think it's been over an hour. So everyone's really online right now. So if you're br a brick and mortar small business, I also think pivoting to an online, you know, having some sort of online strategy is really a smart decision. Um, it can really pay off in the long run, um, especially after the crisis has passed. And right now with things slowing down a bit, um, it is a good time to start thinking about more ways that your brick and mortar can have an online presence going forward. So this week's blog, I'm really going to be talking about five main ways that you can really protect your business during the coronavirus crisis or really any crisis. So now is really the perfect time to start to get your processes in row in you know in a row and also you know really structure your business to have a really great online portion. I mean it's it really is. A big thing really though to remember is that you know we'll get through this. Um, it, it's definitely going to be a struggle and it'll be, you know, a lot harder for some than others. Um, so I've been really trying to help all of my clients transition even more. Most of them are already online, but I do have several brick and mortar small businesses that I help. So we're really transitioning into more of an online marketing strategy for the time being. If you need help with the transition to online, please reach out. I'll be here. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. You know, I can really help you create a strategy that will start to move your business, at least a portion of your business online so that you do have those, you know, separate streams of revenue. So reach out. I'm here. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Um, I hope that you're having a good week and stay safe and stay well. And I'll see you soon.